hi everyone um i don't know why i'm like um um so today actually i need to put some lip gloss on real quick so today we're going to be unboxing my macy's beauty box doing a quick haul and then showing some add-ons that i got in my fab fit fun box because i think they're pretty cool but you know we just need to this is the elf by Alyssa Ashley Gloss. Great. So first I think we should do the Macy's Beauty Box. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. So here's the card for the box. And then here's the bag, which I mean, Macy's usually has good bags. Like last month was lips. Do I have that bag around? Oh, I think it's over there. Last bag was lips and then this bag was with this weird material that's iridescent but that's that's okay that's okay so the first thing i'm going to pull out is oh let me see macy's beauty box is 15 dollars a month um plus tax so i think i pay 15.63 most months um, but most months you also get a little coupon and this month it's 10 whole dollars 10 dollars um so that's really exciting. Okay, so the first thing that we get are these two Alien by Mugler. Mugler? That sounds about right. Mugler. And I'm going to have to open this little, little thing because the little pamphlets they bring, they only say this. Let me read the one. Radiate with Alien Eau de Parfum. The magic of a talesman's bottle that lives eternally thanks to a refill bottle. Or at the Mugler source, our fragrance fountain. This one says, Alien Man, uh, de toilette. A vibration of aromatic freshman, mysterious woody. Okay, this one tells you the notes. That one doesn't. It just says, reveal your bottle again and again so it can be kept forever. And so the woman is Indian Jasmine, wood and white amber, gives this fragrance its intriguing scent. Which I actually like this fragrance. I sprayed it yesterday when I got it. It smells nice. I can definitely smell the wood in it. I don't know what Indian Jasmine smells like. So I couldn't really tell you. But the man, I smelled this last night too. I don't know. It just, what did they say? Leather? I can smell leather. I guess wood. I don't know. I smell the leather because I got something from. Um. Anyway, next item is my exciting item, the Stila Glitter and Glow, and this is a purple green shift. This is in the shade Fairy Tale, and this is full size. So this is twenty four dollars, and your bag is fifteen dollars, and this month, hold on, let me cover up my code so you don't steal it. You get a $10 code. The box is $5. And you get a full size glitter and glow. So, this is in the shade Fairy Tale. I actually put it on my eyes a little bit today, but it's got a gold, um, it's like a goldy purple shift. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, 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 um, I don't know. It's like gold, but there's like purple glitter in it. And so like, it's really pretty. I like it. That paid for the box for me. Like the box was already paid for with the $10 off coupon. But like that paid for the box. Next, we get this Peter Thomas Raw um, Firm X Peeling Gel Gel Exfoliant. Visibly roll, lift, and sweep away. You guys are missing a comma. And sweep away dead skin cells when massaged onto skin are you missing a period too this way roll lift and sweep away dead skin cells when massaged onto skin multi-action enzymes and cellulose help uncover smooth fresh complexion there's a lot of missing work on that i mean punctuation but hey i'm excited because i've been trying micro exfoliants and these are chemical i think since they're peeling gels and I like chemical exfoliants. I use the e.l.f. one, which is like way cheaper than what this Peter Thomas Rock one is. 
So we just got two more things. So I used this this morning because I forgot to use it last night. Um, and it's the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. And this is just an essence that is super expensive that people talk about all the time. And I'm really kind of excited to see what it does for my skin. And then lastly, we have a tiny sample. We got a Dermablend sample last month. So now we get the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. You get 0.12 ounces. And I, I don't know how many you get in the full size. It doesn't say anyway. But anyway, I mean, I think this bag is pretty good. I mean, here's all the things together. Oh, the eye masks. I left the eye mask downstairs because I was going to use them this morning. Anyway, so the last thing here is these eye masks. I mean, they're just an eye mask. <laughs> I've tried very many and I don't know how these will react. I didn't use them this morning because I was like, eh, I don't have 10 to 15 minutes to like use them, but they're $5. So I mean, not bad, but like, would I want to pay $5 for one pack of eye mask when I can get like a whole pack of like five to 10 for like $20 or 16. I don't know how many, how much eye masks cost because I get them in subscription boxes. So that's why I don't pay for them. Um, but let's get into some prices. So last night when I did this, cause I was just doing this for me, um, like the overall value, like if you bought everything at the highest size price, it was $414 worth of value. But like, I don't know if I'll do like the actual value. If I do, I'll put it somewhere on the screen of like things that I would buy. So maybe I'll do that. Well, some of these are things that I would buy, like Laura Mercier. But I know they have smaller size of the meal glare. But I Peter Thomas Roth Firmex Peeling Gel is $48 full price. The eye masks, which I didn't have, they're downstairs in my room because I was going to try them. Um, those are $5. They have hyaluronic acid and they're shaped like hearts. Oh, that's cute. Why not shaped like hearts? It looks like there's on here, like you see there's, there's hearts at the ends. You guys aren't shaped like hearts. Line. Then you have the SK2 Fragrant Facial Treatment Essence. If you get 5.4 ounces, it's $179. But I think they have a 3.4 ounce. I'm not sure. Then, like I said, the Stila Glitter and Glow is $24 full size. Lord Mercier is $38 full size. And then Alien My Mugler, if you get the feminine, is $120 for two ounces. But 3.4 ounces for the men is $88. Why? Why? Why they're cheaper? You think woody and leathery notes should be cheaper than maybe it's because we got in Indian jasmine in there you know we don't have just woody notes and we got specific woody notes I don't know but yeah I think that's a good value for 15 bucks let me know what you think do you get the Macy's beauty box I think it's a good beauty box I mean I wish I didn't pay taxes but like what am I gonna do okay so next I'm gonna think I'm gonna do my mini elf haul they have like a thing where like if you bought something before March 1st, you got 50% off $30 and then like $25 is free shipping. But like when you use that coupon, they gave you free shipping. So I was like, oh, I only spent $23. So um, what is going on? Oh, whoa, whoa. So now we're gonna move into this elf haul. So the first thing I got is their perpetually tan bronzer, which I should have freaking got the darker one because like this is probably not gonna bronze me I'm not even gonna swatch it I'm just gonna try to bronze I mean that bronze me okay yeah no I'm glad I didn't get the darkest one because this was the second darkest I think that's bronzing me I'll have to try this out I didn't put any bronzer on today not because like I was gonna try this I forgot that this was even coming today or like it said it was coming tomorrow so that works really nicely I think it no it doesn't do much but like I don't need crazy bronzers because I have them but this is their primer infused yeah yeah I took them all out the package because I don't know 
I got the metallic flare highlighter, the primer infused blush. And so this is the new packaging, so I'm pretty sure it's their primer infused bronzer because I have the old bronzer. Well, the cheap one. So this is their old bronzer, which is just, I use that finishing powder because it's a little too light. But yeah, enjoy this. Let me just put this in the bronzer drawer since it's open. And next I have this blush. Now this blush is in the shade Always Spicy. That's a little dark. It reminds me of what people show me when they say MAC Raisin. So I think I'm just going to go in with like um, a light hand and try this. So let me swatch it because it swatched really pretty. So like, you know, just going to go in with the and tap off the excess. Hold on, I can't see. Mm. Ooh, okay. Make sure I need to blend her out. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. That is not bad. Okay. Tap. Oh, I just hit the crap out of my hand. Yeah, okay. I'm feeling you, Elf. I, I love Elf blushes, like, already. So if this one will last longer, like, I don't know how long those last. Oh, here's my blush brush. But, like, their black blush palette really really good colors like i really like these um but yeah you know i'm super excited about that and then the next thing i got is their flawless concealer which is also new i think i have yeah so this is their new concealer which i have on today this camo concealer which honestly this concealer is better in color than this like this is tan latte which i think is the last tan or maybe tan walnut and I think I need tan walnut. Like maybe I should have bought it when I bought this, but I was like, I was like, oh, I already bought tan latte. Like, let me, let me try their flawless concealer. And I just really like the color of this better. Like that compared to, so this is a flawless and medium beige. And this is tan, oh, no, like medium beige is okay. Medium beige is on top, tan latte is on bottom. Like it's not an awful, like I should have got tan walnut, but tan walnut, it's like it was gonna dry down darker than my skin tone. So I was like, eh, we can wait. Okay, so next I got the metallic flare highlighter in 24 karat gold. Um, this doesn't swatch well, but I've seen it look really good. Well, okay, it's swatching better. I think I got like the layer off. And so like that's what it looks like it's really pretty i like me some elf highlighters so you know i wasn't like preparing to be disappointed i'm trying to think is there one that i don't like from elf i don't really know and then lastly i got their new poreless face primer i they're out still out of the putty <laughs> that's fine so like i got this it was 14 dollars, but like i said like you get 15 dollars off of 30 so i only paid 22 dollars total so i got this for like seven bucks and I like this, I was gonna get the small one because I was like, oh, I don't need the value size. But like, you get, there's only two fluid ounces. Okay, maybe you don't get a lot of primer. And they really be skimping out on primer? How much you get into this? You get one fluid ounce. So this is, okay. Okay, this is one and this is two. But like, I put this on my hand, like, to test it when I first got it. Y'all, like my hand felt like a new hand. And this is, oh, it just says value size. Cause this is the big value size. Like my hand, like just feeling the two sides of my hand after I did this. Yeah, you can't really see. It like gives it a sheen. Ugh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, it feels way different. And then the last thing I got is this hydrating balance toner which I'm not going to use because I'm still using two toners but I just got this because it's brand new it was eight bucks I think um now it's like as soon as I finish my other toners elf is using new packaging which is like all um eco-friendly so like there's no tape but like this new cardboard it gets everywhere but um I really enjoy their hydrating water essence which comes in about the same size bottle I think they're both five ounces yeah I'm really excited. It says has hyaluronic acid, aloe, and witch hazel. And it says dull skin. I don't know her. This gentle toner removes removes impurities and refreshes the skin. Oh crap, it's got witch hazel in here. 
and alcohol. Mmm. Mmm. Like literally alcohol is ingredient number two. <laughs> like they don't put the ingredients wrong. So I should have looked at the ingredients. And which angel is ingredient number one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about her. Cause water and then alcohol, like. Uh. Mm. But I do like that fragrance is the last one and phenoxyethyl ethanol is one, two, three, the last, the fourth last ingredient. Wow, now I'm kind of upset. Let's continue, let's continue. Okay, so next, these are my add-ons from FabFitFun. So FabFitFun had a little bundle where you got this little trio. So you get the Sol de Janeiro Acai Cream. I don't love the scent of this. Like I opened this and I smelled it and I was like trying to bet if I wanted to keep it or like trade it with somebody on one of my groups. Um, I'll have to see if my sister likes it, if she does. Like it smells weird. Like I smell the Acai, but I don't love it. Like I like the Coco Cabana. Oh crap, now I'm getting it everywhere. I guess I'll just have to use it. My hand's probably ashy anyway, so my sister won't mind. It's fine. It's fine. She'll be okay. Like, I use that much. That came out this last. Like, I don't know. I just don't love the smell. And then I picked up another SPF, even though I have an SPF from Murad that I'm going to be using after, um, I'm currently using the Super Goop. I'm trying to see if I can smell it because it's white tea. It's a moisturizer and a sunscreen. Mm. I'll put you back in. Yeah, so like nothing special. I just bought another sunscreen because I like really wanted the acai and now I'm kind of mad that I bought it. Like maybe I should just bought the travel size and whatever else I bought instead of getting this that I don't want which I'm going to give this to one of my white friends because I don't use dry shampoo even with like braids in um I don't know it's just better for me to wash my hair than to use dry shampoo ever like um so yeah I'm going to give this to her and the last thing I got is this juice beauty organic treatment oil because I was using the sample that I got on my drunk elephant. Well, I bought the little daybreak kit where you get the oil, the lippy balm, and the sun protection serum. And so I ran out of the oil. And so I was like, ooh, let me get another oil. And I got this add-on for nine bucks. And it's got, did it say? It, I think it told me. I like how it says after cleansing with a juice beauty cleanser. <laughs> I don't have. I don't know. Where are the ingredients? I don't like when people don't put the ingredients on the actual bottle because how many people keep the carton? Eh. Okay, organic plant oils of Helen Thus. I don't have my glasses on. Helen, let me, let me just put them right here. Because I want to know what's in this oil. Since I didn't read the ingredients on my freaking elf thing. This, like the first few ingredients are things that I see in my super good sunscreen. Okay, uh, Helianthus anise, organic sunflower seed oil, certified organic ingredient, organic olive oil, organic jojoba seed oil, organic linseed oil, organic borage seed oil, organic evening primrose oil, organic cranberry seed oil, organic grape seed oil, organic olive leaf extract, organic merry flower, marigold flower extract, organic matri matricaria flower extract organic carrot root extract organic spotted cranes okay it's a lot of extracts oils vitamin e and some essential oils i guess for scent which i don't know why i need scent in the oil that i'm putting on my face but a new facial treatment oil because i hate the smell of the ceo glow oil and i don't like to use a lot of that 
So that is my haul guys. I included these because these don't come in the box and the next video is going to be the Fabric Bun box. I don't know if that box will go up before these but I like the add-ons. So like always remember I look great, you look great, we all look great and I hope you had a great day.